So this is it guys, we're finally at the fabled 100th episode. So what exactly do I have that's so special I've been blabbering on about it for weeks? This of course, a custom booster box. I finally got around to making one of these. And for those of you with a sharp eye, then you might notice that it has a Psyduck paper, but it's not just any old Psyduck paper, this is made up of all of the art that has been sent into the series over the past few months. Actually, no, tell a lie, there was way more art than this, but there was no way that I was gonna be able to feature every single one, I'm sorry. But look at all the talent on here, it's inspiring. But your girl didn't skimp, I've got an entire 36 packs in here. With some pretty interesting sets too, but you're gonna have to wait and see what they are. And the final duck pond, for now. I want to thank every single person who sent in Psyduck pictures over the past few months because thanks to you guys, the Duck Pond has become a big sprawling city. But anyway, pack number one is Primal Clash. What have we got in here? Alrighty, so there is Dublade, Professor Virtue's Observations, you know. Because I'm not feeling well, I'm just not gonna say the name of every single one to uh, kind of save my voice. But we've got Trico Reverse and the rare is Starmie Regular. You know, I'm a little bit sad about that because I ordered three packs of Primal Clash and because I already had the full 36 um, for the booster box, I opened one of them off camera and obviously the one that I picked had a full art in it, so I'm a little bit annoyed about that. But anyway... This one is Phantom Forces. Phantom Forces obviously has one of the um, the best secret rares of Generation 6, which is why I got a couple packs of it. I love this set. But Gliscor regular rare is number two. Not looking like an amazing custom booster box so far, but you know, we still have, well, 34 packs left, so we've got to get at least a few nice things. <laughs> but Emerging Powers. I used to dislike this set quite a lot, but it has some really, really nice hollows, so yeah, let's hope we can pull one. It does also have the uh, the full arts of Thunderous and Tornadus, but those are pretty hard to pull. Anyway though, Bertic Regular Rare, ooh, we're not looking so good. All right, Ancient Origins, pack number four. This one was put in way back in the summer, jeez. A lot of these packs are actually dated, I think. I think I have maybe 12 or a bit less from the original Lucky Dip. The rest I've just kind of bought especially for this. Which, yes, Ancient Origins, can you uh, break our bad luck streak? We've got Tyranitar, Gloom, Hex Maniac, ah, I'm impatient. We've got Golet, Ralts, Spinarak, and oh, indeed it can! Mega Ampharos EX, nice! I'm not sure if I have this. I might do. I cannot remember, but I, I do really like Mega Ampharos. I'd say it's probably my favorite Mega. Oh, so cool. There you go, Psyduck. You can uh, hold on to that for now. <laughs> Don't think you're doing that good of a job, are you? There we go. Next one is Crimson Invasion. We do have some really, really interesting sets coming up. It just takes a little while to get into it, but yes. Crimson Invasion is not my favourite set, not gonna lie, but it was just something that was already there in the dip, so I couldn't exactly take it out. Alright, got Mill Tank, a bunch of cards and stuff, no way. <laughs> Alright, Cubone, Mankey, Reverses, Aron, and... Ooh, Type Null Hollow! Okay, I can't remember if I have this, but Type Null is one of my favourite Generation 7 pokes, so... Nice! It is better than nothing. <laughs> All right, this table is gonna be like a complete mess of cards after I'm done with it. <laughs> I haven't done a massive opening down here for ages. I've um, I've kind of been doing a lot of my openings off screen anyway because I don't feel like I'm really the best at commentary. My voice gets tired after like three minutes. <laughs> It's yet to do it in this video, but trust me, it will. <laughs> There's Whimsicott, Tyranitar, Spirit Link, Malamar, Combi, Coagsire, Meowth, Golurk, and Machampi Eggs. What? <laughs> Ancient Origins is being really good to me today. That's interesting. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got two EXs 
and a hollow so far out of how many packs was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a pretty good rate. Like, about 50%. That's not bad at all. But next, Destinies. Ah, can I get something nice out of this? I, um, I did open up a booster box of this not too long ago. It was earlier on in the year for my 250k special. I was hoping to get a shiny, but I uh, didn't manage to pull one of those, which was a shame, but you know, it would it would quite make an opening like this, so <laughs> let's hope. Across <laughs> every kind of finger you have, Semi Sage Reverse Rare and Zeb Striker Regular. Oh, boo, but we do still have another pack of Next Destinies in there, so you know, it could happen. It could very well happen. <laughs> But ooh, we want to go slowly on this pack. Ooh, I told you I didn't skim. This is EX Dragon Frontiers, and this is a new thing for me as well. I've never opened one of these packs before, and they're pretty pricey, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting them very often. But you know, it's a special occasion, so I thought I would get very special packs for it, and I can't seem to open it. Maybe that's because it has a Charizard Gold Star in it? Ooh. The seal is off. I can't resell this thing now. All right. Ah. ah. I can't believe I'm opening one of these. But anyway, um, these packs have nine cards each in them, so we've only got the two-two card trick. <coughs> I'm still sick. We've got Nidoran Mail, Cyndaquil, Lavatar. There is a uh, Rolts, Natu. Shogun, Professor Elm's training method, that's a really cool piece of artwork, I like that. There is another Nidoran in the reverse slot, but the rare is- oh, 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 it's a hollow! I was scared by the, um, the gold border then, but whoa! I actually pulled something good from this! Oh, I'm so happy! This is a Feraligator hollow, um, I get confused sometimes because, um, the reverses and the hollows can look very similar in, um, the Generation 3 sets sometimes, but this is most definitely a hollow and a beautiful one at that. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> that was worth! Oh, it's awesome! But I have another pack of Ancient Origins in here? I don't remember having three. Hmm. But... Our, uh, our look streak has been pretty good with this set, so, you know, we could get something quite nice. <laughs> Can we get something good again from this set? Alright, Tyranitar, Blossom, you know, I'm just impatient, I'm going to skip, skip, skip. Oddish, Special Energy, and oh my god! <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so three for three on Ultra Rares and Ancient Origins. I cannot believe that. And one of them is technically a secret rare. It's pretty much has the same pull rates as the secret rares, but it's still in the set, so it's kind of a weird one. I remember when Ancient Origins came out, everyone was arguing as to whether or not this counts as a secret rare, but oh my gosh, that's so cool! What? <laughs> I need a minute just to catch my breath! Your girl is quite happy with that, oh my goodness! But the next pack is Legends Awakened. This is a um, rather mid-series uh, Diamond and Pearl set. I don't know why I said rather. <sighs> Get stuck for words. These cards are so cool, but yes. Legends Awakened is indeed up next. I haven't opened many of these packs, but it does have a quite nice selection of level X cards, so, you know, it would be the cherry if I could pull one of those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's Hitmonlee. Ooh, Snowy Cast Form. Ah, oh, I love that. There's a Technical Machine. Grumpig. Ooh, Reverse Rare. Oh, no. That's nice. And, oh, <laughs> I was kidding. Look at this. <gasps> Mewtwo EX, a very, very miscut Mewtwo e I mean, level X. Ah, oh, they look the same as the old school EXs, but nonetheless, a really cool ultra, but incredibly miscut. Look at that, that's so funny. I don't think I've ever seen a level X this miscut before. <laughs> oh, but if I'm not gonna get something interesting like this in the custom booster box, then when am I? So. <laughs> We're doing so well and we still have like 20 packs left. It's because I'm sick. I'm getting all of these really good pulls because I can barely speak as is. We've got another pack of Legends Awakened up next. One which it would appear I cannot open. Hmm. 
I can't remember where I got this one from. It might have been from a massive 10 pack lot I got of this set just because I saw it and I took the opportunity because I rarely see packs of this like around, especially in this country, so you know, the moment I saw him, I had to buy him. <laughs> There's Matang, Cast Form, Tauros, ooh, Reverse Rare Rayquaza, what? <laughs> can we get another one? Can we, can we, can we? Oh my gosh, it's a holo, what? <laughs> I am so sorry guys, my look today is bordering on unfair. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. What the heck? Two for two on uh, Great, wait, wait, that's not Great Encounters, it's Legends Awakened. I am being silly today. The next one is actually the oldest pack that I have in the whole box. I put this one in back in March of this year, so it would be pretty funny if it had an amazing pull and it had just been sitting there that whole time. You know, I've had that before. I have had some pretty amazing pulls that have just been, you know, sitting in the box for months and I never even knew. Yeah, Hoodia, Sandslash, bunch of Gen 5 cards. Haha. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, Psyduck! You know, I gotta put that to the side. I just have to. Ooh, Dust Noir Reverse Rare, nice. And the Rare, Jellicent. Ooh, so. Guess it's not a case of having something amazing sat there for ages, but next up we have the only German pack in the dip. So I guess if you want to have your fix of Lucy speaking German horribly, then you will be satisfied for today. Oh, this isn't going to be fun. Alright, so 3-3, three, three. what we got? Whew, we've got Nebulak, that's how it's pronounced, Al Alpolo, Al- Alt Bernstein, <laughs> Bronzel, Ratflats, Tangela, Nebulak, Burmy. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. What is this? We got one of the Arceus secret rares. I mean, it's. I don't know if it really counts as a secret rare, but it's one of the subset ones that everyone wants. What? And. Omastar or Amorso regular rare. Oh my goodness, like every single pack has something great in it. I cannot believe this. Like these these pulls are pretty much satisfactory for a regular booster box. This is crazy. I mean not hollows wise, but you know, ultras wise, like this is crazy. Oh, calm down. Got plasma blast up next, so that is another shot at a very nice shiny card. I do like me my shinies. We've got Urza Ring, ah, there's a Pokemon Catcher, Porygon, Teddy Ursa, Solosis, Houndour, there's a Lapras, ooh, Reverse Rare, a Selgor, I will take that, that's nice. And the actual rare is <laughs> and a Selgor. Hmm, that's a shame that I got a regular rare, but I absolutely love it when packs do that, it's hilarious. But we've got Shining Legends up next. Ugh. You know, I got this one from a Zoroark box that had four dud packs in it, so this is kind of going to be a moment of truth for that. Did I get a dud box or did I not? I would be very much expecting this to have something nice in it. Can we get a Shining? Come on. You know, I've had some pretty nice luck with this, um, with this custom box so far, so I think it could happen. It could very well happen, but there is Ultra Ball and Mana <laughs> <sighs> you know, I think that's pretty fitting as well, because I think I have like 8 Manaphy now. <laughs> oh, Manaphy does not like me, oh my goodness. Guardians Rising. If I'm going to have a set that has good luck, then it's probably this one, because my luck with this set is unfair. <laughs> it is quite unfair. I don't mean in a bad way, like it's it's too good. I feel bad that it's it's so good. <laughs> but there's Alolan Vulpix, uh, Alolan Geodude, and Rayquaza. Oh well. I think my look with this set is too good anyway, so I'm I'm forgiving. Oh look at this! Look what I got! <gasps> Crystal Guardians! I adore this set. I think this is probably one of the um, Generation 3 sets that I've opened the most of, but it is such a gorgeous set. It has gold stars in it, obviously, which is why I buy them. But can we open this? It is not cooperating with us. Oh, I think I got it. 
Oh, it's free! Uh, come on, can we get a nice gold star? Can we, can we, can we? Ah, nerve wracking. Okay, but there is Grumpig, ah, Pokenab, Wartorsal, Jigglypuff, Wingle, Potion, uh, Trico, Delta Species, there's Spoink. Oh, what's this? It is a reverse rare, I mean, reverse rare. Might as well be a rare because it looks so good. It is a reverse hollow in Electric, and the actual rare is... Wait, what? What? Where is it? <laughs> Wait, what? Where's the rare? Did I, did I miss it? I'm so confused. Ah, oh, guys, the rare was Grumpig. It's because I did the wrong card trick. I forget that these, um, these packs have nine cards in them sometimes. <laughs> but Roaring Skies is, of course, up next. A year ago, this was actually a pretty well sought after set, so it's kind of crazy how um, how things can go downhill in just a short space of a year. And by the way, if you're wondering what that cut was, I was uh, coughing my lungs out, so I didn't think you guys wanted to hear that. But there's Dust Ox as the reverse, and the rare is a Kool-Aid Fuller! What? <laughs> <sighs> That looks so sketchy because I made a cut there. I'm, I'm actually quite sad about that, but definitely a legitimate pull. I promise you guys, no hacks here. That's so cool. Ah, oh, I think I have like three of that now, but it is definitely one of the best full arts from Wrong Skies, so I'm a happy bunny. But Rising Rivals is, of course, <laughs> up next. <laughs> I love this set as well. It's um, kind of unique for Generation 4 standards because it doesn't have any shinies in it and uh, all the surrounding sets do. Instead, it has these uh, these weird little Rotom thingies in like part of a subset. I think you get them as reverses, I think. But there's Nidorina, Dot, Growlithe, Weedle, Munchlax, uh, Whizcash Reverse, and the rare, ooh, Bastiodon Hollow, nice. Alrighty, I will take that. <laughs> okay, next up is Generations. What a lovely set. Okay, can I get this open? Just not cooperating. Whew. Okay, it is free. I can't remember the card trick with this one either. I think it's 3 3. I always forget with Generations. All right, so we've got Krabby, Ghastly, Meowth, Slowpoke, Shroomish, Red Card, Mr. Mime, Maintenance Trainer, Meowstic, uh, Radiant Collection Hollow, and Parasect. So not a very good pack by Generation standards at all, but my look really isn't the best with that set, so I cannot say I am awfully surprised. Ooh. All right, but X and Y base is up next. This is actually a pretty unpopular set by X and Y standards, but I really like it. I know the pull rates are really quite something else, but it does have some of my favorite cards from X and Y. Like the full arts in here are just ridiculous, so I like them. But God, Diglett, Taylor, uh, Rainbow Energy, Shadow Circle, uh, Inke, Reverse Rare Mag Cargo, and Scolipede. Hmm. <sighs> X and Y base, I do love you even if I've never pulled anything good from you. <laughs> Alright, Stormfront is up next. I love this set as well. It is the first set in the Diamond and Pearl series to, well I mean the first and only set in the Diamond and Pearl series to have shinies. So, you know, I've got my fingers crossed. I have uh, every single finger crossed if I, if I could. <laughs> We've got Switch Trainer, Tangler, Bidoof, there's a Ponyta, Bagon. Do you call it Bagon or Bagon? Please tell me. Conductive Quarry, Bee Barrel, Dusclops, uh, Drifloon is the reverse, and the rare, Magnazone Hollow! Nice! I'm really happy that I pulled this because I pulled this in an earlier episode of Lucky Dip, I believe, and I accidentally damaged it off camera, so I'm glad that I got that back! Yes! Alrighty though, I think this is the last pack of Generation 5 we have that can contain a shiny being Next Destinies, so come on, can we get ourselves a shiny? My pulls have been absolutely ridiculous thus far, so, you know, I'm not going to be too disappointed if I don't get one, but come on, you know you want to give me one, don't you? You know you want one. I mean, we, we, uh, what am I even saying? <laughs> 
Luxio, Double Colors Energy, Hippopotas, Staryu, Mianfu, Krikatot, Sneasel, Arcanine Rare, and Simipore. I don't think that's a shiny, guys. Uh, oh well, but the next one is Roaring Skies. Ooh, can we get something nice? The last one had a full art in it, so, you know, maybe we could look out again. Can I get a Shaman full art? I don't have one of those. It's not worth as much as it used to be, but it's, it is still a very, very pretty card, so I would not complain by any means. There's Halucha, Wingle, Wide Lens, and Jirachi Hollow! Nice! This is probably one of my favorites from the whole set. It's so good. Look at that. Whoo! Nice one. Okay. So next is another one of Stormfront. Ah, I really don't get to open this set very often, so it feels almost criminal just like whizzing through it at such a pace. But you know, there's not much else I can do. Anyway, we've got B Barrel, there's Warp Energy, uh, Magneton, Voltorb, Lavatar, Drifloon, Ponyta, Machop, there's Pubertar Reverse, and oh, okay, this is upside down, but it is a Regigigas level eggs. Nice! That's the second level X we pulled. I'm so happy. Look at that. I think that word has spread of my amazing pulls because all the planes are circling overhead. But I am very sorry, everyone, because again, it would seem that my luck is quite unfair. I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> We've got another one of Ancient Origins. I don't remember having four in here. I didn't even know I had three, huh? You know, we've gone three for three on good pulls from this set so far, so, you know, can we get something else nice? Can we? Or would that be a little bit greedy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> got Spinarak, Porygon, Unknown, Beldum, Gumi, Cosony is the reverse, and Registeel, Regular Rare. Hmm. Well, I guess you can't ask for four for four when I've, um, had pretty nuts pulls from that set. Anyway, though, Rising Rivals is up again. Woo! Can we get ourselves a Rotom? Can we, can we, can we? <laughs> All right. Or a Hollow. I like Hollows too. Come on. We've got a bunch of uh, trainers and energies as the uncommons. Got Quagsire, Ambipalm, Munchlax. The reverse is Celio and the rare. Oh, Floatzel Hollow. <laughs> I am so lucky today. I am so freaking lucky. This is ridiculous. All right, but number, number what? I don't even know what number we're at. How many packs have got left? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. So this is number 28, I believe. That's actually a lucky number for me, so it's quite nice. All right, if we're dealing with Primal Clash here, then I will I will ask my lucky stars for a God of Waffle lot because that's probably my favorite card from the set. It's so good. We've got Combuskin. There is Mr. Mime. You know, I'm just impatient, so let's have a skip ahead. Honedge, Hippopotas, Probopass, and... Okay, it's not a full art, but it is a Mega God of War EX. You don't ask, you don't get, guys. Ah, oh. <laughs> That is so awesome. Nice. My look is ridiculous today! Absolutely out of this world! Whew. You know, if we're gonna have out of this world luck, then how about we get ourselves a Silver Dialga? Wouldn't that be all fine and dandy? Come on! Alright, so we've got Lysander's Trump card, Zero Six Sligu, Spiro. Oh, that's a good pull. Put that to the side. <laughs> Fuchiana, Wisma, Alamomola, and Escavalier, regular rare. Oh well, I'm fine with that. Are you fine with that? But next, we've got something pretty nuts. This is an amazing booster of Team Rocket, which was sent in to me by a very, and I mean very generous viewer. Like, I cannot thank you enough for sending me something crazy like this. But I thought that I would put it in to a... Uh, the special episode because you know it's a freaking generation one booster they're so old but i cannot remember the card trick because this is 11 cards i can't remember um is it at the back i don't even know i feel like there might be one or two sets that you don't have to do a card trick for i don't know we've got meow there's goop gas attack 
coughing. Uh, Ratata, Grimer, Eevee. Oh, Dark Dragonite is the rare, and it's a non holo unfortunately, but still a very nice one at that. We've got Dark Electrode, Dark Flareon, and Dark War Torsal. These amazing cards have killed my voice! Ah, oh, look at that! Even if it isn't a holo, it's a very nice card, so, you know, I'm gonna sleeve it anyway. Look at that! So cool! Then, we've got another one! of X and Y base. Can we uh, kind of defeat our bad luck streak with this set? I've had many a pack of X and Y base in the dip before and I don't think I've ever pulled anything good from it. I might have pulled an Amalga EX like once, but I've never pulled any full art from this set. And um, I don't really have much to talk about in terms of Ultra Res either. But we've got Electric, I mean Lightning Energy. I need to take a break, my voice is dying, but we've got Wigglytuff for burst rare and the actual rare is another Scolipede! What? <laughs> I need you to send prayers for my voice, it is dying. But we do have another Generation 1 pack in Fossil. I have been waiting to open this one up for a while. I ordered it a good few months ago, but like a lot of things, I've just been waiting to put it in the custom booster box, so... Can I get a holo? I have uh, opened maybe... Well, this is my third generation one pack that I've opened, actually, that's not Japanese. So, ooh, I can't remember what the card trick was. Oh, oh well. Let's just hope that we can pull a nice surprise holo. Come on. Omanite. Geodude, was it the next one? I think it was. No, it's not. Ekans, Psyduck, knocking over my good pulls. Oh, a Psyduck. You know, I'll put that there. Energy search. Oh, no, it's not a holo, but it is. Hypno, and we've got Slowbro, Kingler, and Arbok. So it is just a regular three. Hmm. But still, a really nice pull at that. It's uh, it's strange seeing this without the holo pattern because I believe I do have this one in holo, but it looks so much more vibrant. The background is quite a bit darker here, but it is still a very nice card. But we only have four packs left. I cannot believe it. We've got one of Generations, which I do not have the, uh, the best look streak with recently, so... Can we break that? Okay. Got it open. Let's see if we can get something nice. Okay. So that is three, three. And we have Energy, Pikachu, uh, Clefairy, Meowth, Snorunt, Double Colors, Energy, Graveler, Reverse Rare, Raichu. Ooh, Flareon EX Blah. I will take it. And Pinsir. Okay, so I guess that isn't too bad luck-wise from that set, but we only have a mere three packs left. I cannot believe it. We've got another one of Legends Awakened. I adore this set. Ah, can we get another holo from it? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we open it? <laughs> Alright, we've got Poke Radar. There is Persian, Metang, Buneary, Beldum, Swinub, Nummel. Ah! There is Lilip, Reverse Rare Regirock, that's really cool, and Reggie Ice. oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that all three of the golems are in this side, actually, that's really cool, but yes. I'll put those to the back there because they, um, they're not, uh, you know, hollows or anything, but they're still really cool. Got Emerging Powers, second to last pack. This has gone by so fast. <laughs> okay. So, in this pack we have Throw, Swadloon, Zorua, Purloin, Kupchu, Dorumaka, Ducklet, Cottony, Ooh, Cobalion Reverse Rare, nice! Oh, is this a holo? Oh, it's Braviary! Nice! This is my favourite one! Ah! That's probably the thing that I would have wanted to pull the most. Yes! Nice! Ah, oh, it's so good! Look at the artwork in that! Is that not just like so stunning? Ah! But we have one more pack left and it's something pretty special if I may say so myself. Look at this. Neo Discovery! Do you guys know why I saved this to last? My storage ran out, but as I was saying, this pack has the chance to contain the legendary Yanma, so that's kind of why I saved it to last because, you know, it's a little bit special. Can I open this? Ah! All right, Neo Discovery, here we go. Okay, so I think this is just the regular 3-2 um, card trick because the, um, the Generation 1 packs looked to be that way. But we have 
Igglybuff, Pupitar, unknown. Oh no, it isn't that way, what the heck? That's so weird. All right, but we've got Kabutops as the rare for this pack, so no Yanma, but you know, that's why you take these chances, isn't it? We've got Wooper, Omanite, Caterpie, Poliwag, Spinarak, and the final cards are Kabuto and Nasu. But this has been a freaking crazy opening. Just give me a second for me to uh, organize these cards so we can have a little bit of a recap. All right, so out of 36 packs, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hollows. That is really good. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six regular ultras, one full art, one secret rare, and one of these Arceus cards, and one absolutely destroyed voice. But yeah, that was episode 100. I really hope you enjoyed it. At the very least, Lucky Dip is gonna be going on a little bit of a break. I've been having a little think about the sort of videos that I wanna make for this channel, and it's kind of difficult to do that when you have a weekly series, so I'm just giving it a little break. I'm not sure how exactly I wanna make this long term, but maybe you guys could help me out with that thought too. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I I will see you whenever. Bye!